Alright, so continuing where we left off in our last lesson, we're now ready to go ahead and start building the shading networks um, for our protein database structures of our virus here. And before I go ahead and do that, um, what I want to go ahead and do is I want to shrink this down to um, just the basic portion of this virus structure. This way, as I test our shader, um, we don't necessarily have to render every single piece of geometry here. Okay, so what you can do is just go ahead and select the entire virus structure database here, or the entire virus structure, and we're just going to simply uh, go to our meshing and down to our biological unit and just turn off our meshes. This way we only have one part of that virus structure. Okay, and you can see that we're still on the fairly low geometry here. So let's just go ahead and open up our hypershade here. And I'm going to um, try and give us a, a large enough workspace here so we can see exactly what's going on. Okay. We'll start off with our V-Ray material here. Since we're going to be rendering with V-Ray. Um, you don't necessarily have to, to render with V-Ray. This can be ported to um, Mental Ray as well. Or um, even the Maya software renderer. But we use V-Ray so let's go ahead and rename this first V-Ray material as our virus base killer one. That's going to be important because we're going to be using two different um, shading nodes of this. So let's go ahead and hit control D to duplicate that. Okay. We want to go ahead and create a ramp here. Not to be confused with the um, ramp shader. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use our ramp. And we're also going to create another ramp here. This is going to control the um, opacity of our shaders. So we want to change both of these ramps here uh, to black and white. So change the green here to black. Go ahead and change the red here to white. Okay, do the same thing here for the second one go ahead and just you know delete one if you want to or delete the second one if you want to it just doesn't matter so go ahead and create our white there and you can see that I'm using two different versions um, the one has the white at the top and the other one has the white at the bottom but they're both in the V ramp and we'll go ahead and just smooth them both out here if you want to okay go ahead and select our shader one color or yeah our shader one take the ramp plug it into the opacity map take the ramp for the second one here plug that into the opacity map okay we're gonna go ahead here and create our utilities as well that we need and we need the sampler info node we need actually two of these okay so we'll go ahead and just move these up and place them. Just drag the sampler info over to the other for the ramp and we want to put it in the facing ratio and also in the U to V chord. Okay, so you can see where the difference here will change whenever I go ahead and start adjusting this ramp. Okay, do the same thing here for the shader 2 facing ratio into the U and V chord and what this will do is no matter how I'm facing the virus structure this shader will always give you the same output okay so if we want we can go ahead and start adjusting the ramp here for the first one and you're going to see where when this updates how our um, shader network starts giving us that sort of molecule in the middle, nucleus in the middle. Okay. So let's go ahead and change the color for this. Um, and we're going to go ahead and let's go ahead and just use the pink one maybe or the blue one. Um, it doesn't really matter because we're just basically going to repeat the same process for um, all these shaders so that means that we're going to have to make one, two, three, four, five different shaders that will all eventually have the same structure okay so you can start off with basically any color that you want um, 
If you want to go ahead and do blue, you can go ahead and do blue. Okay, so we'll go ahead and maybe change the blue there. Okay, do the same thing here for the other one. But I also want to add a little bit of white, maybe, into this virus color too, because this is going to be the, our um, outer membrane of that virus. So come up here and create another V-ray material. And we'll call this the outer membrane. Okay. And we'll go ahead here and create another ramp node. And we're going to plug this ramp into the color here. Okay. Let's go ahead and just adjust our ramp here. So we want a blue, but we also want a white. Okay, And you can always um, add as many different variations of blue and white in there if you want. Um, So if you want, maybe go ahead and try and organize these just a little bit better so we can maximize our workspace here. Okay, so we'll probably grab this one, just drag it underneath there. And I'm just checking here to make sure that this is actually going to work properly because this is the output that I want for this. Okay, so you can go ahead and if you want, you know, delete the outer membrane color there. And just drag this down. Drop it into our virus color here. Okay. So go ahead and start adjusting our ramp for this as well. And I'm just trying to get a thicker membrane okay if you want we're gonna need a little bit of re reflectivity here as well so we'll just have to turn the subdivisions up for those so we get a um, very highlighted specular on our virus there so we go ahead and regraph these two maybe okay we need to create a bump map for both of these. So let's go ahead and uh, maybe use a leather for one. And um, maybe use a noise node for the other one here. I just have to find it. Here it is. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and pull this over as well. And we just want to be mindful that whenever we plug these bump maps in, we don't necessarily make it huge. Um, we don't want it to get very blown out here. So we'll just grab the, the noise one node here, plug it into the bump map for our virus base color two. And you can see how um, intense that is. So maybe just turn it down here to say 0.05 and see how that looks. That might actually have to go up a little bit there. So maybe 0.075. Okay. Maybe adjust our reflectivity here. Okay. We'll go ahead and do the leather here. So we'll select our virus base color 2. And we will go ahead here and turn this into the bump map for that as well. Um, go ahead and point, put, uh, put point oh seven five for that as well. Okay, and if you want to change your um, cell size, you can go ahead and do that. We want to just make the color white and black here, just so that, that bump map node will work a little bit better. And 
that's probably pretty heavy, so maybe 0.03. Okay. So let's go ahead and combine these two. And to do that, we're going to be simply using a V-Ray blend material here. Okay. And we want the base material here to be the virus base, Keller 2. We'll take this virus base, Keller 1, and put it into the coat material. And if we take a look at our shader here, you can see where it has the outer membrane, but it also has the inside nucleus. So let's go ahead and select our blue one. We'll just simply apply this. And if you want, you can go ahead and hide these real quick. And I just want to focus to, to make sure that I'm building the shader properly. Okay, so I'm going to open up my render view here and I'm actually just going to go ahead and scale it down here so we can go ahead and get it on screen okay let's take a, a test render to see what this looks like okay so you can see where we have that sort of cloud on the inside portion of the model which is what we want um, we're just going to have to adjust a few things here Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this image for comparison. Go ahead and move that over here. And luckily Maya has that ability where you can save those images um, and continue to test render and, and tweak your shader and save and, and take a look so that you can constantly, constantly take a look at the um, improvements or the changes that you've made. So what I'm looking here for is that we maybe turn our refraction color to white and turn it down here let's go ahead and do another test render okay and if I wanted to we'll just jump into the render settings here turn on the in indirect illumination for the GI and I'll go ahead and plug a map in here and I'm just doing this just to make sure that I um, get a decent HDRI render here and just use that Studio G okay go ahead and save that image re-render and I'm just doing that just to to check the the actual render quality of the the virus structure here just so I know exactly what's going on and that structure is looking fairly decent here um, I'm sorta of, sorta of liking this but maybe we're gonna need to add a little bit more bump here so let's go ahead and just focus in on our blend material here take our virus keller let's get down here and take a look at our bump map and maybe turn on point one and see how this comes out here so you can see that i'm definitely going to you know be testing our our shaders and attributes a lot here because you want to make sure that you're on the right path of creating the 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 shading network that you want so it's definitely a process in terms of you know tweak something do a test render to to take and look and see what it really looks like and I think that look is looking okay there um, might actually have to change that other one here as well Let's go ahead and adjust our ramp for this too. Okay, so go ahead and just select this, readjust our ramp mode. Okay, we'll go ahead and do another test render here.
think I'm liking this so far. Um, this is starting to look, you know, really neat and really cool. Because I really sort of want that inner portion of the actual cell structure to be cloudy. I don't want it to be, you know, to look like it's actual physical geometry. I want it to give it that sort of cloudy look because this has to be a complex structure. Uh, I think I'm starting to really like this. So um, I think we'll go ahead and call it a pause for this lesson. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and come back and um, just begin, you know, tweaking this a little bit more. Um, I'm not going to walk through creating the, the shading networks for the rest of these because it's all basically going to be the same shading network that just has different colors to it. So uh, if you guys want to go ahead and do that, um, you can go ahead and create the rest of those shading networks. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and do it, but I will at some point um, go ahead and create those off screen. Uh, just use the same process to, to go ahead and create that shading network. So uh, we'll go ahead and pause this lesson and then we'll come back and continue working on our virus structure here.